Hello everyone, welcome to a new course on microsensors and nanosensors. I am Dr. Ravindra Kumar Jha. I am a faculty member in the Tripoli department of IIT Guwahati. So, what is microsensors and nanosensors and why this is important? Why we are here to devote uh, 30 lectures on this particular topic? In this uh, today's world, we are surrounded by number of sensors. Consider any example. Like if you are sitting in a room, okay, you are seeing a lot of sensors around you. Say it can be a gas sensors, it can be a temperature sensor in your AC, okay, it can be other sensors around you. Say if you are sitting in a car, okay, automobile sector are using more than 30 variety of sensors, okay, and all these sensors are mostly micro sensors and nano sensors, okay. So, this miniaturized version of sensors are very, very effective and at par with the conventional sensors. That is why this topic is very, very relevant in today's world. And that is why we are here to discuss basics of microsensors and nanosensors. Please note that this course is going to be a very fundamental in nature where we will learn these microsensors and nanosensors from scratch be its principle of operation, be its fabrication, okay, we will learn each and every bit of these sensors, okay. So, this course is spread over 30 hours and uh, this 30 hours will be, you know, distributed among 12 different weeks, okay. So, in today's introduction video, I will be talking about, you know, uh, in very brief that what we are going to cover in each week so that the students are acquainted with the course syllabus. In the first week of this course, I will give a brief introduction to sensor, how to define them and how to classify them. Okay. We will also learn a little bit of fabrication that we are going to use okay, in, in the development of uh, sensors which will come in week 5. Okay. So, we will give some considerable amount of time on, on discussing fabrication in brief okay so that will constitute your week one okay in the second week we'll learn various characteristic of sensors okay say if i am a end user of a sensor okay if i am going to market i will buy some sensor say for example i am going to buy one sensor say a humidity sensor for my room okay for my study room i am going to buy a humidity sensor because i feel that humidity in my room is going beyond my control or I want to uh, observe the humidity in my room, okay. Uh, to buy a good humidity sensor, I should know that what is its uh, repeatability, like if it is working today, will it work tomorrow or will, will it be uh, working in, in summer or as well as in winter or and as well as in rainy season, okay. So, this is one of the characteristic of a sensor, okay. If I talk in terms of response of the sensor, okay, repeatability, reproducibility of the sensor, say if I am using it right now in say Guwahati, okay, and say next day I am traveling to Bangalore, if this sensor will work in my hotel room in Bangalore, okay, so reproducibility of these results in all these different places are very, very crucial, all right. So, we will be uh, learning these characteristic of sensors and these are just few we will be uh, discussing a number of characteristic, okay, like hysteresis, uh, it is a very important characteristic of a sensor. So, we will see what is hysteresis error in term of a uh, sensor, okay. Once we are acquainted with the characteristic of the sensors, okay, we will move ahead with the discussion on principle of sensing, okay. Principle of sensing is very, very important because all the sensors that we are going to discuss in this course will be based on certain physical or chemical principle, okay. Say consider resistance, okay, uh, uh, consider a wire, say I have, let me draw it, consider a wire, it has a resistance of say R equal to rho L by A. We all know that resistance is given by resistivity into L by A where L is its length and A is the cross-sectional area while A uh, while rho is the wire. So, um, what if 
I am able to or, or some stimulus is able to change the length of the uh, wire or because of some effect the area is changing of the wire okay or because of some property of the material or because of some external factor rho is changing okay so if anything is changing i can say that or i can quantify the change in resistance okay and if i am able to quantify and calibrate it with some standard sensor i can say that okay because of this particular stimulus or this quantity of stimulus my resistance is changing this much okay so that's why i can say that resistance or or measure of resistance is one of the basic principle of sensing okay similarly we will see capacitive piezoelectric piezoresistive optical sensors okay optical sensors uh, there are number of principle on which this optical sensor can work it can be change in refractive index it can be change in uh, absorption reflection refraction uh, etc okay so we will learn some basic principle of these sensors okay once we understand this the principle of sensing we will move ahead with in the fourth week uh, where we will be discussing different interface circuit of the sensors okay it can be excitation uh, circuits it can be you know amplifiers bridge circuits okay we will learn all those things okay in very brief of course okay in next week uh, we will start actual sensors okay actual uh, discussion on sensors because till four week we'll see a generalized version of sensor say characteristic of all the sensors in generic terms principle of sensing in generic terms okay similarly interface circuit for uh, general sensors but from week five we will be discussing actual sensor uh, so we'll start our discussion on humidity and chemical sensor this chemical sensor will mostly constitute gas sensors okay so once we understand these chemical sensors we will also discuss some physical sensors uh, like temperature sensor force sensor tactile and pressure sensor okay in temperature sensor uh, we will be talking about thermoresistive sensors pn junction semiconductor sensors because nowadays uh, with the uh, rise in this uh, semiconductor market okay pn junction uh, based temperature sensors has uh, gained gained considerable attention so we will be discussing this and then uh, conventional thermistors we will be discussing okay further ahead in the fourth uh, section we will first understand the basic strain gauge the principle of strain gauge and how it works okay and how the force sensor based on this strain gauge works okay and then we will discuss the advanced micro force sensors like capacitive piezoresistive and other uh, force sensors okay further in the eighth week when uh, we will be discussing tactile and pressure sensors uh, since in the previous week we would have already covered the force sensor so understanding tactile sensor and pressure sensor will not be that difficult okay in the subsequent week we will be discussing occupancy and motion sensor this occupancy and motion sensors will be mostly based on ultrasonic principles microwave principle and triboelectric principle okay uh, once we understand all this principle we will discuss some optical sensors particularly based on infrared principle okay in the 10th week we will be discussing displacement sensors and accelerometers since the characteristic of accelerometer is little bit different than other sensors so we will be discussing its characteristics separately okay particularly sensitivity and other characteristics okay so in this 10 weeks we will be uh, covering almost all kind of sensors so uh, in the next two weeks uh, week 11 and 12 we will be seeing some practical examples like the first example that we, we are going to discuss in week 11 will be on smart building sensors so the occupancy sensor that we would have covered in week 9 uh, will be using uh, those sensors in actual uh, uh, building monitoring okay and we'll also discuss some smoke sensors okay and the last part will be discussion on sensors for healthcare this healthcare sensors will be based on will cover glucometer okay which will be based on electrochemical principle uh, basically we'll see some optical glucometers also and if uh, the time permit we'll see ecg and mri devices okay so uh, this course is very fundamental in nature 
this will give you introduction of all these sensors that I have just mentioned. Okay. Uh, along with me, uh, two TAs, uh, Supriya and Arindam will be helping in providing assignment and all. Thanks to the CET team at IIT Guwahati uh, that we are able to bring this course to you. Uh, please register in the course. Thank you.